Some of the things we're interested in my lab are how exactly our brain works, how our neurons fire. Basically how learning and memory works is one neuron communicates with another neuron. And the neuron receiving the signal has these specialized proteins called glutamate receptors. And they receive the glutamate and then they open up and then allow charged particles such as sodium to go into your neuron. And this is the basic process that enables all of learning and memory. So what we're really interested in doing is using technology such as CryoEM to understand the very fine details of how this process happens. So we can use this to not only understand the basic mechanisms of how learning and memory may occur, but we can also then leverage for drug development. One of the really exciting things is that, let's say a patient that has a certain disease, what we will be able to do and what's currently in place here at the Beckman Center is we can take patient samples from our clinical counterparts and actually specifically understand what is going on with a protein that may be causing their disease. And oftentimes with how high throughput CrowEM is now, is that this may be something that is actually even more informative and more accessible and quicker than sequencing, for example. Things like, let's say, SARS-CoV-2 uh, mutations. We can develop a platform where we can take these samples from patients and in real time solve the structures of these viral particles that would then allow us to delineate these mutations and how they may actually be evading vaccines.